Hello, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for today's video, which for those of you who are already subscribed, I did promise you last week, and that is my quarterly what's new in my wardrobe video. So here I have a rail of a few bits which I have bought for my wardrobe since the last time I made one of these videos. So there's a bit of a mix of categories on here and there are, very true to form with it being me, a lot of repeats, like duplicate items in various colours. And the first of which, I'm just gonna get stuck straight in, is these weekday pin jeans. Now I've had a lot of requests recently for a high street denim video that is very high up on my list. Spoiler alert, these would definitely be in that video. So Weekday is a bit of a cult brand when it comes to denim. I think they're a brand that's definitely on most people's radar. Uh, and former to these jeans, my favorite jeans from Weekday used to be the Voyage jeans. However, if you've ever seen the Voyage jeans or own them yourself, you'll know that they are quite high-waisted. These are essentially a similar fit in terms of it's a straight slim leg in terms of like the cut, but they are a mid rise. Now, just for comfort, I think for me, I am not really a big fan of super high waisted or high waisted jeans. I would always prefer something in a mid, a mid range and these are perfect. They are that very structured denim, which Weekday is very good at. So they do feel like a proper pair of jeans. They've got a really nice, very flattering leg fit, and then that more comfortable mid-rise. So if, like me, you just don't like jeans that come up to your rib cage, and that could just be for eating, for sitting, general movement, then I would highly recommend just giving these a try. Now, one other thing to note in regards to weekday in general with their denim, but also with regards to these jeans specifically, they do have quite a good range of waist sizes and the waist sizes are denim waist sizes. So you've got those in betweenies as well, like a 27, 29, 25, etc. And so you can get a nicer fit. They also have varying leg lengths. Now this might not necessarily apply to all of their denims, but these do come in the three three leg lengths, a 30 inch inseam, 32 and 34. Now I bought all three pairs of these in, for me what is slightly cropped, so I bought them all in a 32 inch inseam and you'll see in the cutaways how they fit on me. For reference, and I know that I say this in every video, but I have a 34 inch inseam. There is a reason that I didn't buy the 34 inch inseam and that's because I did want these slightly cropped, that's how I wanted them to fit. Now because they are slightly cropped that does mean that you get a little bit of ankle. I actually bought these for going to Disney, I wanted some slightly more cropped jeans um, and so yeah that is my explanation for why I went for this leg length but I absolutely love them. So that's those three items done and out the way. The next item is they're on the floor. White chunky trainers. So these are from Marks and Spencer. They are real leather, they were 55 pounds and they come in three different colorways. They also come in an all black and a black with a white sole, which are quite interesting. Now the only issue that I had with these was sizing. So M&S don't do half sizes. As with many other high street brands for that matter, and I am a half size. So often when it comes to buying footwear that isn't from a luxury brand or that isn't from a sportswear brand that offer half sizes, I can find finding high street footwear quite difficult. So I did try on both a seven and an eight. The eights were ginormous, like I could just feel them flapping around on my feet, but the sevens were a tiny, tiny bit too small. I could feel, in terms of length, I could feel my toes just, not necessarily touching, but I could just feel a pressure. And then I sort of walked around in them for a bit and I was like, oh, it's so annoying, because I just need, I just need that little half. However, I then went and tried, because I, I essentially poo-pooed these, they were vetoed. 
And I then went and tried my other two options. And both of those, uh, it was a Russell and Bromley Park Life trainers, which just didn't feel comfortable at all. And again, only offer a seven and an eight. And I wouldn't say they're a luxury brand, but I would have thought they'd have offered half sizes. I've never had anything from Russell and Bromley before. So that was just my own naivety. Um, and then the other ones were the Vintage Orbits by Axel Arigato. Arigato, it sounds Japanese, doesn't it? And I tried those and they just didn't feel high enough up the heel. They literally felt like you were about to slip out of them. So both of those were an absolute no. So I kind of, I'd kept hold of these. I went back to these and I thought, Do you know what, I'm just gonna wear them around the house and see if they stretch a little bit. And I thought for 55 pounds, at least, I could sell them on if it turns out that they don't fit. So I wore them around the house a little bit and they did stretch and I also have shoe stretchers. So I've been putting those in as well because I just need the tiniest little amount of stretch. That has done the trick. So I'm so glad that I decided to stick with these because in terms of style, they were actually my favorites out of any that I found and very cost effective being Marks and Sparks, you know, just 55 pounds, still real leather and exactly the style I wanted. Now I have started posting back on Instagram again and those of you that follow me over on Instagram and you just take in all of my outfits, you'll have seen that these have been making many, many appearances over there. So they are a, fir ooh, a firm favorite of mine, definitely at the moment and Yes, a very, very, very good purchase. So much so that I am considering the black with the white sole. I just, I just don't know how I would style those. So I need to kind of think about that a little bit more because I don't want to buy anything that I'm not going to be able to style easily. Right, next is, these actually still have the tags on because these are my most recent purchase. And it is a pair of cargo trousers from m &S, again. Now these, Again, are not bought for winter, but of course, once Christmas has been and gone, a lot of brands start to filter in some of their early spring product. And that is clearly what Marks and Sparks have started doing. They're getting their early spring slash summer product in. And I happen to be going somewhere at the end of next week that has a lovely climate currently. So I was looking for a pair of cargo trousers, mainly for the Animal Kingdom Park so that I could do the whole safari vibe. But also I wear cargo trousers in spring and summer, just as like a more casual option. So these are the newest offering. They come in three different colors. I believe this color is called Spice. They are a really nice, not too thick, but also not too thin. They've got good structure to them. They've got these little details at the bottom where you can cuff them slightly. So there's two button options and you can slide this tab around and button them so that they feel a little bit tighter fitting around the ankle. And they are really nice. It's a structured fabric, but it's still nice and soft. It's like a cotton blend fabric. And once again, I know I mention this every time that I'm talking about any form of trouser from Marks and Sparks, they do offer different leg lengths. So I have these in the length long. So these are a size 10 long and they fit me almost perfectly. They are actually a little bit big on the waist. So with regards to sizing, they do come up a little bit big. Right, on to my next uh, load of items. I'm just gonna grab all these hangers. I went a little bit crazy in Uniqlo just after Christmas. I was doing some bits and bobs in my wardrobe, just not reorganizing, but just sort of going through and almost like a bit of a stock take. And I had found that I wasn't really wearing, I'd kept out just a few, if you remember back to my, my last wardrobe switch over, I'd kept out just a few basics and I found that I wasn't really wearing them. What I was actually wearing is my thermals a lot and then layering some sort of thinner knitwear over the top, whether it be some cashmere, like a basic cashmere, or I had some of these already. So this is Uniqlo's super fine merino range. And it is very thin, but it is merino wool. So it is good for like regulating your body temperature. And essentially what these are, are elevated basics, which are suitable for, I was gonna say suitable for autumn, winter, but actually I think they're suitable all year round. 
and I have sized up in every single one that I bought to a large, which is the size that I go for in their cashmere range as well, because I prefer that slightly more oversized slouchier fit. So I have ample room under any of these crew necks and polar necks to wear my thermals underneath. So I've got that sort of really core thermal layer and then I can wear something that is a little bit more elevated over the top while still being warm. Because it's not every day that I wanna wear like a really big chunky knit, especially under various different coats that I have. They just can't accommodate a chunky knit. So if I layer right, I can still keep warm and also have a slightly different outfit. Now, in terms of price, these are 29.90 each, but, and I don't know if it's classed as sale or if it was just some sort of promotion, a lot of them actually went down to 1990 just over the festive period. Along with, I've also got some unique clo cashmere in navy coming up. They also went down. In fact, I think it was all their cashmere dropped by 10 pounds. I'm not sure if that promotion is still on. So again, I'll leave links down below in the description box, but yeah, a lot of these were just under 20 pounds each, which I think, is really good value for money, especially as the ones that I had previously before I bought all of these different ones, they have lasted, I think I've had one of them for like over two years now. So they're definitely worthwhile purchases if you're looking for like an elevated basic. So yes, next item is a couple of navy Uniqlo cashmere items. They were just things that I thought I didn't kind of already have and that is a navy polar neck, and I also got a navy v-neck. Whilst, and I think I've spoken about this before, like sometimes winter can be a little bit tricky because you wanna layer up, but if you're outside, that's fine. But then when you go inside, for example, to the pub, I then find that I've got maybe a big, thick, chunky jumper on. They've got the fire blazing, and I am dripping within about five minutes. So I wanted something that I was gonna, you know, thinner items, and especially like this V-neck, which V-neck, sorry, which shows a little bit more flesh, but something that is a bit more comfortable once I've decoated. And to be fair, we're so close to the pub that I wear a coat for all of five minutes on the walk up there, and then it's off. So yes, I kind of wanted some more sort of indoor, but still warm, a nice looking appropriate items. So these are the two Uniqlo cashmeres that I have now added to my collection. And as I just mentioned, both of these were like minus 10 pounds off their usual price. So they were 79.90. And I really hope that that promotion is still on if anyone is looking for any really good basic cashmere because it is good stuff. And like for just 80 quid, it's actually incredible value for money. Next, I promise this is not a Uniqlo video, it just happens to be a bit Uniqlo heavy, but as I mentioned with regards to the Marks and Spencer cargo trousers, a lot of brands have started to push through their spring stock now. Uniqlo is another one. So in the cashmere and the superfine merino, they've also now got some really pretty spring colors. I say really pretty spring colors, they're not colors that I would wear. There's a lot of pastels and slightly more feminine colors or traditionally feminine colors, which of course are not my jam. But if you do like a bit more of a splash of color in comparison to me in my blacks, navies and neutrals, then worth checking out. They are cropped and I did buy these in the long length, which just for reference, you cannot buy in store. If you wanna buy the long length or even the shorter length of any of Uniqlo's trousers, you do have to buy them online. So again, links down below in the description box for anyone who is interested. So I bought all of these in the long length, size medium, and they fit perfectly. Yes, they are ankle length, so again, depending on how you're wearing things. If you're gonna wear boots, completely appropriate for winter. If you weren't gonna wear boots, then of course there is that little ankle gap. So just something to be aware of when it is a little bit chillier. I was definitely wearing mine before we had this super cold snap. It's minus three today and it's very frosty outside. So these are not something that I'd probably be wearing today. And then I also bought, I already had these. These are the same trousers essentially, but 
in a full length and a wide leg. I already had these in black, which actually I think I've got on. Yes, I do have on. So I actually just updated my collection and added in this same sandy color. So these are again in the long length, again a size medium, and they do fit much looser than these. They're less fitted, so you could totally wear thermals under these as well. So if you've got any thermal leggings, like I have all my heat tech range, I can wear those underneath those wide leg trousers. Right, next up I have two jumpers, one of which I have on and the other one here, both from the H&M Premium collection. I've spoken about this collection before, it's definitely my go-to for buying anything from H&M. I don't normally buy from their main line unless it's just like pyjamas or like a, a cheap jogging set. Um, which I wear around the house, in which case I do not want to spend loads of money on joggers and hoodies when I just get covered in hair and other things that come from having dogs. Um, those of you dog owners will relate to that. So this first one here is a camel colour and actually I think this one is a wool blend. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, this one is 90 wool and 10% cashmere so it's got that soft feel to it but it's got also that thickness that comes with adding wool into a cashmere blend and it's just oh it's such a cozy jumper and again I think I've spoken about this before but I can't remember which video it was in and that's with regards to a funnel neck there's something really really chic about a funnel neck. Of course you have to be careful if you wear foundation, but there's something I just find really elegant about a funnel neck. I find them very structured. I think they sit nicely under coats. Just love them. Same actually goes for this one. This one is actually more cashmere and was more expensive, but this one, this has also got more of a back wing style to it. So as I mentioned in the cost try on that I did last week, you do have to be careful with coats. You need something with more of a drop sleeve, more of a cocoon coat in order to fit that under there. This one is super, super soft, not quite as thick because it doesn't have as much of that wool blend in there, but it is still nonetheless absolutely beautiful jumper. And both of them do come in other colors as well. So there are some sort of other options, very core colors, I think not sort of super bold colors, but just nice core classics. And these two jumpers, yes, definitely really, really happy. Although, as I said, a little bit on the pricey side, especially for a brand like H&M, but I'm really happy with both of those and would consider them very good purchases. Okay, I love me a bit of vintage. It's just a great place to shop in general, but especially if you are going to Disney, it's a great place to get some of your park outfits from because you can get them at a super low price. These, however, were a purchase non-Disney related because I'm not taking these to Disney, although they would have been a really good Disney trainer because they are super light. They were brand new or are brand new. I haven't actually worn them yet outside the house anyway. So yes, excellent purchase, excellent vintage purchase, secondhand but grand. And that is another... <laughs> another pair of trainers. I love trainers. I'm at that age where I just want comfortable feet. So I, and I, I'm not gonna begrudge myself new pairs of trainers, especially when I buy most of them, bar those M&S ones, but the m very vast majority, I buy them all pre-loved. And Vinted is a really good place to sort of find people that have got a big plethora of trainer collection and maybe they've never worn any. So like these, for example, brand new. I have given them a spritz with protector spray, so they are now good to go. And finally, my last item is this black wool blend coat from Mango. It is a little bit nipped in at the waist, so it does have a bit more shape than what I thought maybe I was looking for. I think I thought I was looking for something a little bit more straight, but the nipping in at the waist actually is quite flattering when it's on. It's a decent length, not too long, not too short. On me comes sort of mid shin level. And yeah, I was just very specifically looking for something single breasted. I wanted something with one button. This has two, but I couldn't find one with one button that ticked all the other boxes. It does have a back vent and some buttons up the sleeve as well, fully lined, and it doesn't have 
any bells or whistles. I just wanted something, as per usual, very basic and very specific. And yeah, I've had some wear out of this already. So it was definitely, like now that it's been tried and tested, a good purchase, which is always good. And size wise, they've actually got quite a good range of sizes in this. I think it goes from extra, extra small. And I'm sorry, but I don't know what the UK equivalent size wise that is. So I think something like three or four XL. So there's quite a big size range there. I went for this in a size medium and that is ample room to fit either like a basic, one of the Uniqlo Merinos underneath or a cashmere with a heat tech thermal underneath or I can even fit something a little bit chunkier under there and not feel like I've got sausage arms all packed in tight. So fit wise, absolutely perfect. Right, so that is me done for today and for another what's new in my wardrobe for this specific season. My next what's new in my wardrobe will be in spring at some point, maybe towards the end of March, early April-ish kind of time. Um, otherwise, I will definitely try and work on getting you guys that high street denim video as soon as possible. We've got a couple of renovation project videos also to come your way over the next month. We've got the home gym and we've also got the loft bathroom upstairs. Um, so lots of good stuff to come. And of course, yes, I am going home at the end of next week to be with my people at Disney World in Florida. So I'm gonna be sharing a few snippets on um, my Instagram for that trip. I am not vlogging because I haven't been since before the pandemic. So I just wanna, I wanna just let go and enjoy it. And yeah, I just wanna be present. Um, but of course, I will be using my phone because of course I have to be using Genie Plus. So I will be taking snippets of things as well. And I do have a Disney TikTok that I set up although I haven't posted anything yet. So I'll share that on my stories so that I'm not necessarily bombarding my normal Instagram with Disney stuff if you're not interested in <laughs> Disney stuff. But for now, thank you as always for watching and I will see you next Sunday.